Oh boy. We are down here in the well. How'd we get down here? Is it? Hello everybody, this is Alice the Dragon and I see a guy over there that wants to mess with my day. I'm gonna mess with his day. Uh. Well, sometimes taking the first shot is ineffective. Anyway, um, yeah, I, we are playing Delver today, and I was thinking I would maybe, oh, oh that's right, this is, this is the shops area. Uh, I keep forgetting that the well is the shops area. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's why you wait until they make noise and go, Rah! <laughs> uh, ninth most important rule of business is to be bold. Alright, so what have, we, what have we got? Um, ooh, nice bow. Excellent ring of health. Ooh. I, I do like health. And I have just enough for it. Let's do it. And it ups your attack, too. That's awesome. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. I, I wanted to um, kind of respond, as it were, to like, uh, one of the comments on one of my videos that they wanted to know more about my view of life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna check out this this dude real quick. I think this is the uh, inventory maker guy. Yeah, it's not here for stories. Perhaps we'd like to trade instead. Yes, magics. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's the inventory. Okay. What is that little wiggly thing? What keeps sticking out of your robe and wiggling about, you creep? <laughs> uh, like everybody's got to make that joke on this level. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Like Everybody's got to react to that. There's a lot of ways we can look at the universe. I, the foundation I had here let's uh, let's go down here actually cave one all right Oop. hello like we only we only know things by what we perceive right like I know that there's a bat that's flying around because I uh, hear its wings and I heard something else sounded like it died. I can see my uh, arrow being pulled back and that I'm lined up with the bat and then can shoot it. Uh, if I were here, I could probably smell the zombie. This zombie coming up right here. Ouch. And your experience of being poisoned is going to be different from every else, everybody else's experience of, uh, of dying. <laughs> uh, I should eat some bread. I can taste the food. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that that mouthfeel. Uh, I'd argue that there are other senses besides the five senses. You know, you, you've got your um, internal sense of what your experience is of all the other senses. And uh, the only thing you can be absolutely sure is a thing is that you exist. That's right. I might not exist. These uh, gems might not exist. Let's see. Isn't this... Like, where we start getting... Yep. Ooh. What do I get? I like defense. Defense is good. 
just I'm gonna tank it out, guys. Yeah, get you. Alright. I like that they light up when they're slowed. Yep, another, another Zombert. Oh, he dropped a thing. Ooh, fine composite bow. Hold on, let's, uh, let's actually go back here real quick. Just so we're more or less out of sight of any potential baddies. Um, fine composite bow, 8 to 12... Six to ten. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, mace. Yeah. Even my broken dagger is about the same. Uh, and uh, nice one. We don't be up there at the moment. Mm, okay. Yeah, just a little in inventory management there. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yeah, that's the fundamentals of existentialism, is like the person perceiving this at this very moment in time exists. And uh, you can't ever be sure of what anyone else is experiencing. Uh... Wait, excellent buckler, 4AC. How's my current... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... give me that. Yes, yes. Buckler. Buckler, please. Yes, please. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, so you, you don't really know how somebody else is perceiving this experience, whatever it may be. Here you are. Hey. I've got lots of arrows. I'm good. Yep. Yeah. Right, get my arrows back. Yep, I see another guy down there. Is anybody going to sneak up on me here? Huh. I was kind of hoping it would fall into that trap. So that's that's uh, that's where I always start with any kind of philosophical conversation is that my experience of the world is not going to be the same as your experience of the world. It's it's almost a disclaimer of sorts. Yes. Damn, this guy's tough. All right, come on now. Oh, he's running. Not gonna stand for that. My, uh, my experience of the world just kind of uh, lulled out there for a moment. Please excuse me. Ah, uh, like sometimes you, you gotta really change your focus. And, uh, and look at things from another perspective. Even if you're not sure that's like a, a perspective that exists. Broken arrow. Okay, that's that's what was going on there. Whoa! Very fast spider. Also, I'm really killing it with these arrows, aren't I? Whoops. Except then. And yeah. You know, then there's like the scientific principle, where if if you do something once, and then do it the same way again, and uh, and compare the results, 
you know, you're you're probably gonna get a better idea of yeah you know, how things go. Uh, like things like dropping uh, dropping a feather and a grapefruit from the top of a tree. Yeah, you know, they. Have, you know what's what's gonna hit first, or or a ping pong ball and a grapefruit, like. You, you, you learn more about your environment by experimenting with it. And um, I'd say that is the second big pillar of my... Uh, uh, philosophical canvas, I guess? Like, it's, it's really hard to explain properly, I suppose. Because I'm always concerned that what words I use, like, different people have different interpretations of words. Like, someone who, um, for example, uh, knows English as a second language. Ouch! Ouchie! Go away. I probably should have listened more around me. I didn't think that there was anything back there. Okay. But yeah, I need to uh, get that bread. He didn't even scratch me. Ha ha ha. Uh, levitate, haste, teleport. Hmm. I wonder if the discern reality scroll is what I was supposed to use uh, on the first floor. I think I'm gonna put down the levitate scroll. Alright. If I were to, um... Wait. The, the fact that you know, scientific principles, that I respect scientific principles as my, uh, my best guess, you could say. Like, it, really everything is a guesstimate. Everything is a guesstimate because uh, even if you get something right with what data you have at the time, Ouch. That doesn't make it any less valid than, uh... You know, the... Eh. <laughs> any, any less valid than any other, uh... Yeah, than, than before when, uh... When you had it wrong. Like, did you have it wrong? You had it right as best you could with what information you had. And that's what's important. Hey, squishies. Yep. So, I find it very difficult. Oh, did I hear? Did I hear one of those guys? Yes, I did. Where is he? Where is he? That stinking. Oh, yep, there he is. Where are you at? Come, come on. Neener, neener. Stick that eye out where I can see you. Actually, what I should do is move back here. Goad him into coming a little closer. Yeah, I heard that. Yep, the trap's going off. Yep, he's close. Yep, yep, yep. He's like right around that corner. I need to get him a little closer. Like I can't be sure what what he is seeing of me or even what he's thinking. I can only approximate based on what I see as 
his behavior. Whoop, there he is! Like, I cannot see... Well, in his case, it would be the bits flipping. <laughs> Whereas for us, it would be the neurons firing. Ooh. Okay, okay, where are we at now? Where are we going? I haven't gone this way yet. Oh, this is a good place for the magic missile. Ooh. Amulet, amulet of health? Amulet of protection. I already have a, a health item. Alright. Yep. Hello there! Oh, is this the way out? Or the way down? I think it is the way down. I have broken my thing and he's running away, so... Yeah. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's, let's look at the, at the map. Where's the map? There it is. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think we've pretty much explored everywhere. We could go back and check that out, I suppose. Okay, let's, let's do that. It gives, it gives me a little bit of more time to talk. You know, I've, yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of, uh, science newscasts, like the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe and things like that. So I like, you know, I like to think that I have a relatively good grasp of of uh, what has been discovered thus far about our uh, universe as we know it. And that is assuming that everybody else in the universe exists. Per personal preference, I like to think that I am not the only person in existence. It's uh... Uh, that is not working. Yeah. Eat it. Speaking of, uh, eat it. <laughs> uh, scale mail, 8 AC. Less speed? I'm okay with less speed. B besides, it's scale mail. I'm a dragon. Scale mail is the best. <laughs> Alright, All right. I might as well just drop the dagger at this point. Oops, not what I meant to do. Anyway. No, I want to get the ale. There we go. And, uh... Yeah, the... Yeah, you know, things so far seem to point to, you know, like, you, have you, have you ever heard of, uh, of, like, uh, I lost my train of thought there, <laughs> but that's all right. That's, that's what happens types of scenarios. You know, give me give me a little bit of a walkabout and I will pick it back up again. It's back here. Yeah. Yeah, so I've you know one thing you know this this whole discussion was started because uh, I talked about having brunch with my sister and having interesting conversations with her uh, about uh, how do you is it up he here then oh a little crawl space uh, blowy up bottle yeah get those nope. 
this is like a secret spot. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, look. This is worth it. This is so totally worth it. We need this very much. Ah, oh, never, never use this for smashy smashy. Oh, oh, we can't go back. Interesting. Have to go this way. All right. All right. Yeah, one, one, uh, one idea that I had when I was younger was, you know, the fact that so many things are waves. And, you know, you have light, that's waves. You have sound, that's waves. And yeah, get that get that ale going, because that's how I feel. Yeah, get it. <laughs> you know, you've got light waves, sound waves, and you've got music, and you've got art, and it seems to me that. Uh, Things like that just wouldn't exist if there weren't some matter of flexibility to the universe. You know, science measures the bare bones, but really you could you could say theorists get the uh, theorists are the flexibility, and that and that's why I think that storytelling, especially science fiction storytelling, is some of the best ways to explore the universe. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to leave it there and save the rest of this uh, lecture for another time because we have found the ladder down and uh, that's, you know, we've found the ladder down, we've explored everywhere. This should be the end of the episode, I think. So, yeah. I, uh... I hope that you enjoy my science, philosophy, whatever lecture. And I will see you next time. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy out there. Love you all. Bye!